Welcome to Paradise, with a great view, four bedrooms and three bathrooms. This Mount Pleasant rental could be your home away from home. That's if you're willing to stump up more than $1,300 a week for the privilege of staying here. So this is the master bedroom bathroom. Um, we have taps gold plated. Uh, silver plated. Silver only. plated. Yeah. <laughs> If you're getting earthquake repairs done, your insurance company will even foot the bill. That's what's happening in the case of Michelle Kane and her family. While the home's fixed up, they're paying $220 a night to stay here, courtesy IAG. It's, it's not flash, certainly not uh, $220 a night flash. Is that worth it? That's $1,540 a week. That is very More expensive. than $7,000 during your five week stay here. That's right. Is it worth it? It's worth it to have somewhere to stay that we can bring our dog. Uh, is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. But that's supply and demand in the rental market at the moment. Christchurch landlord Gregory Kulinov says there's money to be made. He's rented out his Kashmir property since the start of the year. As he rents the bottom half and top half at separate rates, he's made more than $40,000 from the short term market. He's not worried about the market collapsing any time soon. Um, EQC are probably only into the 10, 10 or 20 percent of the, 10 or 20 percent into the repairs. The insurance companies, I would say, not much more than that. So there is um, going to be higher demand, I think, for housing. He's renting his Mount Pleasant home out for $13.50 a week. He purchased the property last year solely for the short-term market. And after $30,000 of repairs, his first tenants have moved in. $13.50 a week might sound quite high, but this includes power, this includes internet, this includes the house being cleaned before the tenants move in, after they move out, or the garden done. Michelle Kane says her insurance company, IAG, told her there was no limit to how much she could spend a week as long as it met the market value. It's advice like that that Christchurch City Councillor Glenn Livingston says is pushing up the city's rental prices. Effectively extortion, I mean, a lot of these landlords know people are, are desperate, they're playing on it, it's become a bidding war, we all know that, and they know they can just ramp the prices up, and you're seeing one of the worst playing out of the uh, supply-demand dynamic. But what happens when rebuild delays turn a short-term stay into a much longer one? One person I've spoken to has been out of her home for nearly nine months. In that time, she's been paying $750 a week, racking up a bill of more than $26,000. That's not including the power bill. On Trade Me, there are more than 130 listings for short-term rentals costing more than $1,000 a week. They all vary in quality. For the same price as this penthouse apartment, you can use Michelle's rental when she's finished. That'll be $1,500, please. I mean, if there weren't so many short-term rentals, I don't know where we'd be, because it's not that easy to find somewhere that will take a dog. Gregory can't understand how some landlords are finding tenants when their homes are nothing special. Uh, for example, what we rent or this house that you've been through now, I think it's much better value for money than those $900, $1,000 homes in not, not so well off areas. He's happy to ride out the demand for short term accommodation. He's expecting his two rentals to be booked out for most of the year. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.